All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 13th to April, 4th, um, April 19th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is a, uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you want to learn reading tarot cards and you like the way I do it I'm offering an online a live tarot classes uh, in which I'm going to explain you uh, the major arcana for starters um, their uh, relationship interpretation their career interpretation the positive and the negatives and also how to interpret them in a uh, different positions into a dedicated sprite I chose and that can be used for reading only Major Arcana. So uh, that being set aside, moving to the reading straight away here, the first one, which is I'm not exactly thrilled of seeing, it's the Tree of Swords and that is the topic of our week. Oh my God. So uh, next one, which uh, represents the energies which are feeding the topic Hmm. That is to be the two of wands, and now it's becoming quite interesting here. Uh, followed by the challenges uh, that we get to overcome, and that is to be the Queen of Swords. I mean, really? All right. So next one, gifts and blessings, very important in this uh, in this particular narrative. Ten of Pentacles, and that's a good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. Anyway. Uh, I know what it means for me, okay, but I'm not going to give myself as an example this time around. But it's, it's just so soundly, guys. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, next one, it is uh, the impression of the people around. Uh, that is to be the impression of the magician. Also important, very important. And the last one uh, is going to be the tower, which is the guidance. Okay, so uh, this uh, this week for us, Scorpio, it's all about the future. Okay, it's all about the future. It's like uh, picking up what, what what is left and not what is left, but what was left. Okay, so we're not talking about current situations any longer here with those cards. Okay, we're talking about what was left a few years ago or a couple of weeks ago and an year ago or a uh, i don't know you know so uh, this this reading this this week that we are entering into does not refer to our immediate um or to our current circumstances it is about something that we sucked something that we severed with back in the days and now it's it comes back into our lives just like that, certainly, according to the Tower card, okay, which is the guidance. But um, those energies that we are to experience throughout the week are going to show us that uh, we actually did a good job back then, okay? So we have developed something. Either it was, say, a, a love interest or either it was a, a good job, you know, or a thing that really had potential, but for one or another way, it, it severed itself. It, it did not have the room to grow back in the days for one or another reason, because it didn't have the circumstances, for example, or uh, because we were not ready, most likely, because I, I do suspect that that is what the card says, because the two of wands is about growing and improving upon current skills, knowledge, uh, emotional representation and all that, because the two of wands points that you are now sitting on a good foundation. You didn't have it back in the days, but now you do. And it's important, or now we do, and now it's important that uh, we develop, we grow on this um, uh, on this foundation. And this is exactly what those energies are going are going to push us to do. And the good thing about those energies is that we can go in either direction. Okay, so because we have left that endeavor or that enterprise or or activity circumstances in a, such a way that it could go either, uh, it could go by anybody's guess. I believe it's how you say it in English. So it can grow as much as we allow it or as much as we're looking forward to it. But that itself is gonna push us into the um, situation of the week. And the situation is the Tree of Swords. 
So the Tree of Swords is about healing in this case. It's about healing, emotional or a mental healing. Because obviously that's whatever have been severed back in the days either left us very disappointed, okay, or very hurt mentally. It could be through an insult or it could be because uh, we have been told that we do not deserve it or this kind of stuff, you know, which does not hurt your emotions, it hurts you mentally. And uh, the situation that is coming back to us, the circumstances that are coming back to us for a, a correctional exam or for a second goal, if you will, it could have been once again a, a lost job, broken friendship, uh, uh, unsuccessful relationship. Uh, also, it could relate to your family that you sh that you had to abandon your family for one or another reason, and now you know the connection is recuperated and etc. etc. So whatever happened back back then, it, it left us with really bitter taste in our mouth. And now this week we have to, the Tree of Swords is like a test that we have to put it behind our backs, okay? Um, if we allow those negative thoughts from the past to twist and tangle in through our mind, we are going to find ourselves lost, lost. And when the, the, the time for our definitive action to come, uh, come by, um, being lost from those negative thoughts from the past will not allow us to make the well-found and required decision so we can grow, so we can have what we have lost back in the days, okay? Uh, so very important thing. Another, uh, another interpretation of those cards, which goes by a long shot here looking at the narrative though, it is that um, crisis it's what is going to make us step out in front of the world in a sense of that throughout this week, when we are with our backs against the wall in term of career or in term of relationship, we are going to be at our best. And actually, that will be exactly the turning point that we are to understand that we do deserve more or we can do more or we can go for more. It's simply the more we struggle, the better we'll become. Uh, so, um, actually, if someone gives you a rough time throughout the week, it's somewhat, if uh, something kind of causes predicaments, instead of making your life miserable, they are actually improving your life significantly throughout this week or improving our life significantly throughout this week. So, we have the challenges here. That is going to be the challenge of the Queen of Swords individual obviously uh the, its manifestation it will be different for every single one of us okay so uh, you try to identify how that person takes place into your environment but uh, queen of swords they are very um, in tune with the means they have they they simply the queen of swords can push buttons this is what I'm trying to say and very well adapts to uh, the situation that unfolds. And therefore, they are, this person is going to breed in our back for one or another reason. They are ruthless as well because uh, for them, it does not matter what it takes. It does not matter how much it takes. Only thing that matters are the results at, uh, at the end. And so if that person, for example, wants us for themselves, they will do anything they, they can to do it, even if that means that they will do bad things, okay? If they want us not to be successful, again, they will do everything on their power to make it happen. If we're, are we going to, are we going to allow it? I don't think so. Like I said, in the, the, the worse the position we are put into, the better, because we will show a, that we are a, a force or a power that is to be reckoned with. I mean, th this is the week where we are to show that we have been underestimated back in the days and um, it was a, a big mistake. So, yeah, I mean, this person with, uh, with its intentions to capture us, if I can express it that way, is going to be very unpleasantly surprised that actually we are now much stronger than uh, this person anticipated and we can actually resist resist him or her and um, in that particular uh, in this particular week and the, the the most we can say no to them and uh, we get to decide how to 
um, how to dis uh, how to dispose with our future, if you will. Uh, so the uh, looking at the cards, uh, the main resource that this person, Queen of Swords, is going to resort to, it's a uh, mental cruelty, insults, uh, manipulation, uh, bad speech, uh, if you will, through madness as well, in the sense of that it could be mad at you and uh, that may try to make you feel guilty and these kind of stuff. So don't try to budge on this stuff. Uh, it's, it's not worth it. So we go to the good stuff here, which is the gifts and the blessings that um, we get to enjoy throughout the week, Scorpio. That is to be the Ten of Pentacles. So we get to enjoy liberty. That is first and foremost, uh, meaning that um, we are to find ourselves in a uh, rather cozy, comfortable and a good spot in terms of emotional and in terms of a uh, performance standpoint. In the sense of that we are going to be happy where we are finding ourselves. Uh, that is just the cumulative and phil philosophical explanation of the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, therefore, we will be pleased with how our career is going. We will be pleased as well with how our romantic life is going. Even if it is DOA, that is not going to be something that we are going to be concerned at, at that particular point. It's not going to be heavier on us, okay? So the, the, the life with Ten of Pentacles will look much brighter in, in this particular week for one or another reason. On a more practical level though, the Ten of Pentacles points that your investments throughout the week are actually going to worth it. You know, the more you pour in, the more you take out from a relationship, from career and etc, etc. And also Ten of Pentacles um, uh, could refer to that um, reconciliation, okay? With either your family, with an ex-lover, with an ex-friend, uh, with someone that uh, it's it's mad at you, like I gave an example uh, into the uh, into the cards and etc etc. So the trust, the rebuilding, uh, the the, the buildup of trust or the rebuildup of trust, if you will. And then we do have uh, the impression of the people around. That is the magician. Well, they see you or they see us very determined to be what we are. Okay, so uh, people that wanted to change us like this. Queen of Swords, okay, are going to understand that we don't change. We are who we are and you either like us or the door is open for you to go away, right? So um, this is also a week where we are to see who are around us for the sake of us or for what we truly are. And they are not like not exactly willing to take it in but it's like they respect it and, and they see the the uniqueness in us and also people will see you very open to try with uh, with the magician card for the reason like we said that now we are grown now we do have different means now we do have a better understanding now we do have the circumstances and uh, you know the prerequisites that we did not have back in the days so that again speaks for some sort of a reconciliation okay uh, either a business one or either a romantic one friendship one with the family and etc etc so uh, guidance wise we do have the tower card and uh, what the tower card points well it will be very sudden and it will require from us to reshuffle our uh, environment in a sense of that uh, the way we have structured our life does not allow this situation that did not happen back in the days to be a part of our life right now. And uh, this is also where we can struggle, kind of like, you know, allowing it to grow. But instead of we um, denying it, because that could be the affinity of some of us, uh, we should rather try to make time and make place that is the guidance of the tower card in that particular uh, week or in other words our life is going to start transforming and we should not fight against it but instead allow it to do so um so that being said um this was our weekly tarot reading for april 13 to april 19 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it as much as i did guys and uh, once again, uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And if you like the way I interpret tarot cards and you want to learn uh, to interpret the cards that way, or you just, you, you're just starting to 
to uh, get in touch with tarot and you want to learn them the way I do. Uh, I'm offering a, a online tarot classes in which they are live, by the way, in which I am going to explain you the major arcana for starters. Uh, how to interpret them in terms of relationship, in career, in terms of positive or a negative take and uh, how they stand in a dedicated spread that can be used only for major arcana reading as well. Uh, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.